Eight, only got six on those. I achieved failure though. Shit. Alright, what's up everybody? It's your boy Joe Robinson, uh, NPC, super heavyweight competitor. Um, today I'm gonna take you guys on a little ride on and show you how I go about my, my chest training today. When I do my, my presses, and, I, and you guys probably have heard other people say this too about scapular retraction. So to isolate the muscle, to isolate the pecs, <clears throat> instead of going back, back here and just land on, on the bench and you press it up, you wanna contract the scapula and you do that by lifting your chest and you pitching your shoulder blades together. And slight arch in the back, you press up right here your pec should be fully contracted and what that, what that does is take the front delt out of the movement more you can't take it out all the way but you should take it out more to isolate the pec now if you don't do that your shoulders roll and you use a more front depth when you press then you don't want to do that <sighs> retract the scapula chest up slight arch Squeeze. The other thing you notice, that's only 45 pound dumbbells, but I'm lifting it like it's 100 or 120. And the reason why I do that, and you see a lot of a lot of guys do that too, but the reason why I do that is I'm priming my mind and my body for that muscle mind connection for when I get to that heavy set. So I don't care if it's 10 pounds, 15, 20 pounds. I wanna move that weight just like I'm gonna be moving 100 pound weight to get my mind and my body connected and primed and ready for that, that top heavy set. All right, here we go, first, first working set. Turns failure means go T fucking can't go no more. My goal was to get at least eight on those. Keep the keep the reps um, not too low, but kind of like in that medium range, from like eight. It went from like eight to ten. But uh, I got six on those, but I definitely got the job done. You asked about dis discrepancies in different dumbbells from gym to gym. Um, a lot, as a lot of people know, there can be a lot of discrepancies between dumbbells. Like for instance, when in Denver, Colorado was last summer, I think, yeah. And they had 100, 100, 100, 170 pound dumbbells there. And I did those for like 13 reps maybe. 12, 13, something like that. And I only did those here for six reps. And uh, 
I think the difference is between these dumbbells and those dumbbells is like this one, even though the, the grip and the bar is thicker, so you can balance it better. Um, the ones I had in Denver were, they were the, the 10 pound plate loaded uh, dumbbells. So it didn't take up, a, take up a, a lot of ground. So those 170 dumbbells are longer. Therefore, it's harder to balance and push. The 170s that were in Denver, much shorter more, and more, more compact. So the more you're able to balance it more and push with, with it, you can control it better and get more reps out of it. Good hard eight right there. That's what we're looking for. Ah. You notice, you notice, you notice that the uh, trend here is it's, uh, low volume but heavy weight, and that's what I've been going for uh, here lately. Today was all about hitting the hard, fast, and uh, and getting out the gym. And everything's about the way I train. Everything's about e efficiency. So I don't like any. There's no wasted movements. Do what you got to do. Hit it hard, and get up out of here and go go feed the muscle. Another tip on these: when, when you have the dumbbells here, don't have them like parallel to the ground. Tilt them back a little bit. When you press. Press inward. Pretend that you push and continually push the dumbbells together. And you contract, contract right there. So, uh, let's see, when I first started off, I did about three or four warm-up sets that, and, uh, that you'll see in the video, and before I got into my top two working sets. But after that first movement, I didn't feel like I really needed any warm-up sets, so I just went straight into my two working sets. And I even threw in, threw in a drop set that wasn't even playing, I just felt good, just doing a drop set. Um, and that's about it, just short and sweet and to the point. Uh, you know, just old school training. It, it, 
it's, you don't really have to re reinvent the wheel. I mean, it's just a, you know, grassroots chest training. That's all it is. Like I said, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Um, you see a lot of people out here that try to do all these funky exercises, different type of exercises. And I'm not talking about the more advanced people. I'm talking about people that haven't even got the foundation down yet. They don't even know how to do a, a, a proper bench press or even a shit, a proper push up for that much. But they trying to do these IG workouts. Stick to the basics, man. The basics, the basics are, are, are always, always work. They'll never fail you. And it's basically how, how my, my, my training goes. You know, I stick to the basics, train hard, train heavy uh, as I possibly can. And when I say possibly can, I mean, for instance, on squat, a heavy day might be 500 pounds. But the next week, a heavy day on squat might be four or five. You know, it's all, it's all re relative, you know. But the main thing is, uh, you know, putting that work in, um, breaking down the muscle to build new tissue. So, uh, like I said, once again, keep it simple, hit it hard, and you'll get results.